Relations and Functions Let us start with the definition of relation. A relation is a rule that pairs each element in one set, which we call domain, with one or more elements from a second set, which we call range. It can be presented using an ordered pair, where x values are part of the domain and y values are part of the range. Domain is set of first coordinates or the x values, while range is set of second coordinates or the y values. Let us have an example. We have here set of ordered pairs, 1 and 5, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4 and 15, and 5 and 20. Let us identify the domain and the range of this set of ordered pairs. Again, for the domain, those are the first coordinates. So let us get all the first coordinates of each ordered pair. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the domain. While for the range, it is a set of second coordinates. So we have here 5, 15, 10, 15, and 20. So we may just write 5, 10, 15, and 20. We may arrange the elements from least to greatest. Relation can be presented in three different ways. Let us use the same set of ordered pairs. We're in the domain are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and the range are 5, 10, 15, and 20. Let us start with the first way on how to present relation. So we have here table. This table contains two columns for x and for y. So of course, for x values, those are the first coordinates or the domain, and for y values, those are the second coordinate or elements under range. So we have here 1 and 5, it means we will write 1 under x and 5 under y. So 1 and 5. The next one, we have 2 and 15, 2 for x and 15 for y, followed by 3 and 10. So we have 3 and 10, 4 and 15, and 5 and 20. So this is how we present relation using table of values. The second one is to map or mapping. So for this, we will have a diagram. First diagram will be for the main and the second one will be for range. So for the main, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let us write it inside this diagram. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then for the second one, it's for range. We have 5, 10, 15, and 20. So let us write 5, 10, 15, and 20. To show the pairs in this diagram, we just have to use an arrow to connect the first coordinate to the second coordinate. So here we have 1 and 5. It means we will connect 1 to 5. And then the second one, 2 and 15. So 2 is here and 15 is over here. Let's draw an arrow. Third one, we have 3 and 10. So 3 here and 10 over here. Draw an arrow. Then 4 and 15. So 4 and 15, draw an arrow, and 5 and 20. So this is how we present relation using mapping. And the third one, we may also use graph in presenting our relation. For example, we have this graph. The horizontal line is the x-axis and the vertical line is the y-axis. The first ordered pair we have is 1 and 5. So 1 here in the x-axis and 5 in the y-axis. So let us connect 1 and 5. Our point will be here. Next ordered pair, we have 2 and 15. 2 from the x-axis, so we have here 2. Then 15 from y-axis, 15 is over here. So 15 and 2, let's connect. The point will be here. Okay. Then... The third one, 3 and 10. 3 from the x-axis, we have 3 here. And 10 from the y-axis, 3 and 10, connect them. The point will be over here. Fourth one, we have 4 and 15. So 4 here and then 15. 4 and 15, let us plot the point here. 
And the fifth one, we have 5 and 20. 5 is here and 20 is over here. Let us plot the point in their intersection. 5 and 20. Okay. So this is the graph of this set of ordered pairs. So these are the three different ways on how we can present relation. Now let's go back to the definition of relation. How can we relate this to function? When we say function, it is actually a special kind of relation. So function is also a relation. We call it special kind because it follows an extra rule. Just like a relation, function is also set of ordered pairs. However, please remember this, every x value must be associated to only one y value. It means x must only have one y partner. Okay, Only one y value. Let us see this example. We have here two sets of ordered pairs, set A and set B, and they are written in table of values. Now, we have to check if each x value is associated with only one y value. Let us see. Negative 3 is paired with 7. Negative 1 is with 5. 0 is with negative 2. 5 is with 9. And 5 again is with 3. We have two 5s here. So, therefore, we may remove one of these since they are the same. Let us remove this one. And so, therefore, this x value, which is 5, it is associated with both 9 and 3. And we can only, and we can only consider a relation as function if the x value is associated with only one y value. But here they are 2. Therefore, set A is not a function. Okay, now let's check set B. Negative 2 is paired with 0. Negative 1 is with negative 2. 0 is with 3. 4 is with negative 1. And 5 is with negative 3. Is there any repetition in the x values? None. Same with the y values. So in this case, since every x value has only one y value, then therefore, set b is considered as a function. It means that we can conclude that if we have repetitions or duplicates of x values, like here we have two fives with different y values, so 5 is paired with 9 and 3, then this relation is not a function. Okay, please remember that we must not have any repetitions or duplicates in the x value for it to be a function. So in set B, obviously this relation is definitely a function because every x value is unique and is associated with only one y value. Let us have more examples. But before we start, Remember that to identify a relation as function, it must not have repeating x value and also x must be associated with only one y value. Let us see. Example number one. We have set A which is equal to 5 and negative 2, 10 and negative 4, and 10 and negative 6. Again, you will just be looking at the first coordinates or the x values for us to be able to know if this given set of ordered pairs is a function or not. So let us observe. We have here 5, 10, and another 10. So we have two 10s in the x value. Therefore, this will not be considered as function. So this is not a function because we have repeating x values. Did you understand? Another, set B is equal to 1A, 2A, and 3A. Again, look at the x values. So for the x values, we have 1, 2, and 3. There is no repeating x value. Therefore, this one is a function. Another, 
For number 3, we have table of values. Values of x are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Values of y are 4, 8, 8, 12, 16. Again, you just have to look at the x values. So, observe if they have repeating x value. As you can see, there is no repeating value. Therefore, this is considered as function. Another values of x, we have 5, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 5. And for y values, we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Observe. And as you can see, we have repeating x values here. We have two fives as well as two negative twos. So therefore, this set is not considered as function. So not a function. Let us have more examples. Okay, so we have here mapping. Five is connected to negative one and zero. And ten is with one and two. Again, let's repeat must have no repeating x value and x is associated with one y value only but here five is paired with negative one and zero and ten is with positive one and two therefore this is not a function next how about this one so seven is paired with two eight is paired with four nine is paired with six as you can see x is associated with only one y value. Therefore, this is a function. Next, what is the use of vertical line test in identifying relation as function or not? We use this test if the given relation is presented using graph. If a vertical line crosses the graph of a relation in more than one point, the relation cannot be a function. If no vertical line crosses the graph, in more than one point, then the graph is a graph of function. Let us see these examples. In number one, we have this graph. To identify if this graph is a function, you may draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph and see if it intersects at only one point, then this graph is a function. But if it intersects with two or more, then that will not be a function. So let's see. Let's draw a line. Okay, as you can see, it only intersects one. So therefore, this graph is a function. Another example. Again, you may draw vertical line anywhere on this graph. Okay, so let us draw a vertical line. Oops, as you can see, this vertical line intersects with two points on this graph. So, therefore, this will not be considered as a function. Another, if we have this graph, so we have a circle here. Again, draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph. For example, let us draw here. Okay, as you can see, this line intersects with these two points. Okay, it touches the red circle here, also here. So, therefore, this is not a function another how about this draw anywhere here for example let's draw a vertical line here it only intersects at one point we may try on the other side again it also intersects at one point so therefore this is considered as function now how about equations are the only given graph is not presented how can we identify that each of this equation is considered as function actually to do that you have to solve for y and if you will be able to get a unique value for y then that is a function but without solving for y we can actually identify if this is function or not by looking at the exponent of y okay so here in this equation, you just have to look at the variable y. For it to be a function, the exponent must be an odd number. Odd number. It means, what are the odd numbers? We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. All the numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So if the exponent of the variable y is odd number, 
that equation is considered as function. While, if it is even number or if the exponent is even number, that is not a function. So, let us see. Let's start with y equals x squared plus 3. So, y, as you can see, has an exponent of 1. Actually, the exponent is not written. But if the exponent is not written, it means that it has an exponent of 1. So, since 1 is the exponent and 1 is an odd number, therefore, this equation is a function. Again, you will only look at the variable y. Second, so, variable y is here and it is raised to 2. 2, of course, is an even number. So, therefore, this is not a function. Number 3, y, again, it has no exponent or the exponent is 1. Therefore, that's a function. Number 4, y cubed equals 2x. So, cube, of course, is an odd number. Therefore, this one is also a function. Number 5, we have y equals 6 x raised to 2, y here has no exponent or the exponent is 1, therefore this one is also a function. Number 6, x squared plus y squared equals 1. So y squared has an exponent of 2 and it is even number, therefore this one is not a function. Same with number 7, y is raised to 2, so 2 is again an even number. Therefore, this is not a function. Last one, number 8, y is raised to 1. So, therefore, this, this equation is a function.